What's going on everybody, I'm Riku, and this is Inazuma 11 Victory Road Worldwide Beta Test Demo, leave your Inazuma mark on the world. In today's video, I'm going to basically be telling you what's the best equipment for each character. I'm going to divide this into four segments, I'm going to have the keepers, the defenders, the midfielders, and then the strikers. However, before we get into the video, leave a like and subscribe. I know I don't usually say it, but leave a like and subscribe, it really does help out the channel quite a lot, especially since, you know, I'm still growing, if that makes sense. Um, so a TLDR, a very important tip uh, before we get into anything, do not waste the Grandpa's Super Skills notebook page on random stuff like the Zeus kit or the Zeus and Team Ogre emblems. It's not worth it until you have your equipment done. Um, long story short, it's the rarest drop in the game. This item over here is the rarest drop in the game. As you can see, I only have five, and I think I've only gotten like 12. That's a lie. I've only gotten like 15, maybe 20, and I've been playing the beta for 60 hours, uh, grinding quite a lot. Um, long story short, just don't waste it. Um, so we're going to start off with the keepers. Uh, I'm going to be leaving down in the description um, the best stats for each character and why they are that important. So like that video can be more streamlined and then if you want more information there is the description and the comments just in case you want to uh, maybe find more of a reasoning if that makes sense. So for keepers uh, it's plain and simple you're mainly uh, looking for physicality and agility. So for the boots, you mostly want to get the Genesis boots. Uh, I do know, I know what I just said about um, agility. However, pressure is also quite good. Um, four of pressure and eight of physicality is the strongest um, defensive boots, if that makes sense. Uh, the more physicality the keeper has, the better it is. Okay. And then for the bracelet, it's not really a bracelet, but it's called a bracelet. We want um grandpa's gloves and this is what i mean by saying that the grandpa's super skills notebook page is important you want it for the grandpa's gloves 18 uh, is it 18 no sorry 16 my bad 16 agility is very important for the keepers um long story short your keeper power is all measured by the defensive stats mainly agility and physicality okay um, and then for the pendant, uh, it's the Chrono Stone Necklace. You want as much physicality as possible. The intelligence is really wasted on Keeper. You'll see why later on. But the 8 physicality really does help quite a lot. Uh, so yeah. And lastly, you want to have the Evans Talisman with, as you can see, 11 physicality is very strong. If, if I remember correctly, physicality is the strongest um, stat for the keeper. I will fix it in the description if I do have that mistake. Uh, and then plus two agility, quite quite good as well for the uh, for the keeper. Moving on to defenders, uh, we once again want to use the Genesis boots. Um, the pressure is the most important uh, stat for defenders, um, and it's also accompanied quite well with physicality. Both of them are quite good, but for defenders you really want pressure. Uh, so that's what we're going to be um, that's what we're going to be looking for. Okay. So for the bracelet, you want to get the meteor gloves once again for the physicality. Um, yeah, the physicality and agility is quite good for, for defenders, once again. Uh, then for the pendant, you want to get the adversity necklace. Um, you are mainly looking for uh, intelligence here. Pressure is, again, very good. You want to have as much pressure as possible. However, the intelligence here, why I've chosen the intelligence, is basically intelligence uh, increases your chances of winning in the little focus battles, the, um, the duels, ones that you have like three options and three different percentages. That is basically where intelligence um, 
condoms, okay? Uh, and then you want to have the Omega Brace... Uh, I keep saying bracelet, it's the Omega Bangle, I think I've said that right. Uh, again, more pressure, more physicality. That's very good. Uh, however, um, you can also use the Professor Layton accessory. If you see, you as an individual see that you are engaging a lot in those duels um, with percentages, uh, 15 intelligence as like a raw stat is quite good. You want to have that if that is your playstyle, okay? Um, if you are engaging more in these focus duels, go for it, okay? Uh, now for midfielders, um, I actually have not gotten any of these on my account, on my main account, but the Zeus boots are very good. However, I am using the uh, Genesis ones because I have more of a defensive midfield. Um, so I'm only really attacking with my three strikers. I'm only I'm using the rest of my players to defend, basically. Um, so the Zeus boots, uh, more control, more technique. Control isn't very important, but technique is the most important stat for um, midfielders. Uh... And I think that's all I have on notes for the boots, so I'm going to move on to the bracelet. You want to get the lucky bracelet. Uh, once again, intelligence, you have a higher chance of winning in, these, in the duels. And then technique is also quite good. Uh, once again, I'm not explaining what technique is here, it'll be in the description. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it for the lucky bracelet. More intelligence, more technique, better. For the pendant, you want to get the shiny mascot. It's giving more intelligence and more technique. It's going to give you a higher chance of winning in the focus duel. It's the, you know, the 3% the ones, those again. Your midfielders are usually always engaging in those. You're always engaging in the focus battles with them. This is what you want. The more technique and the more intelligence, the better. And then lastly, you pretty much just want to get the Professor Layton accessory. This is why I'm saying that this item right here is very important. You need so much. It's unreal. Professor Layton's accessory is quite good, giving you 15 intelligence. That is amazing. It gives you a higher chance of winning in the in the focus battles. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the midfield. Uh, and moving on to the strikers, we actually have a little change. You do not need the Genesis boots, that's what I've been using the entire time. You can now actually use the Luna Prime boots, okay? Long story short, for a um, for a striker, you always want to go up. You always want to shoot. The more shoots you do, the more chances of a goal. The more shots you do, sorry. Um, long story short, 13 kick, that's what you're looking for. Control is good, but you mainly want that for offensive midfield. I'm using this as a striker. The more kick, the better. Control just adds on to it. Um, so for the bracelet, you once again want the Genesis bangle. Said that right. You want more kick, more control. That's it. You're just adding raw stats to it. More kick, more control, more damage, more overall shooting power. Okay. So the pendant, we are going to go with King's Scarf. You are losing out a little bit of, um, what do you want to call it? You, you are losing a little bit on a substat. I'm going to call it substat, on a stat with agility. You get 12 kick though. Like, that's quite good. 12 kick is amazing, okay? You want to get that 12 kick in for more shooting. Power. And... Uh, I also have on my notes here, you can also use the Alias Crystal, you will be losing out a little bit on kick, however you are gaining control. Could be useful for offensive midfielders, or if you just like the playstyle of more control and more kick, once again, it will be explained in the description down below, what each set does for the player. And yeah, for the special, uh, for the special accessory, uh, I have a couple options for you. You can use Jude's Goggles, more control and more technique. It's quite good. Um, however, I kind of like Professor Layton's accessory if you are engaging in more of the 
focus duels as your strikers. It's very rare. It is very rare for those to happen. But if they do happen, you're good. However, if you just want more kick and more control, just get the dragon sticker. Plus, the, plus three control, sorry, kick and one control. Quite good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for everybody. Uh, with these, you will see how you gain more shooting power, more defensive power. Uh, you'll also see how you're, you know, you, you just become better. Your players just become better. Um, at the moment, the best way of farming these is in online um, with the team with um, rare item drop boost. You basically always want to be farming this, this, and this. Okay? Uh, and that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, thank you all for sticking around. If you enjoyed it, once again, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. Adios.